Welcome to another Mindset Monday. Like, see that? See the hoop? I can't do that quite with my finger. Guys, it's March Madness. Are you kidding me? And if you at all pay attention to March Madness, you will understand that this is a crazy year. I don't know how many double-digit seeds have pulled off massive upsets and then continue to do it the following round. Like, it's crazy. It is absolute March Madness. It is Bethlehem, if you will. Um, Without action, the best intentions in the world are nothing more than that, intentions. Guys, as you know, as managing directors, we coach agents in our other markets. And let me tell you, this quote couldn't have been more fitting for today. One of my biggest challenges and frustrations lies within the lack of action an agent takes. Lack of action, everybody. For example, our coaching program consists of one-on-one meetings every week, this session. Um, each session, we really start off by updating our year-to-date numbers. You guys know, like, what did you close this month? What have you closed this year? What are you pending? What's your GCI? All of that stuff. Then we sort of recap any new challenges that we encountered from the last time we visit. It's a very, very, very fast 30-minute session. So what kills me, guys, is when the agent comes back after a week or even two weeks and says, you know, I, I really haven't got around to that. I was excited about it before, but I just haven't done anything about it. It's nothing in regards to doing the homework, because if you're a student of mine, you get homework. Yes, the H word. Then they try to rationalize. Like, this is the part that just blows my mind. Trying to rationalize why their business is not trending in a positive direction. I'm not going to do the work but I'm gonna rationalize why my business is plateauing or declining, nothing on an increase. So Jeff, what am I doing wrong? What other form of marketing can I do? I need to be more consistent on social media or the best one yet, Jeff, what's the silver bullet? And you're going, silver bullet is just doing something. So I sit here, try not to react. Like I'm a very transparent human being like, you know the emotion that I have on my face is either a positive one or a negative one. There's really no gray area with me. So I'm like, how in the heck are you expecting to grow your business if you aren't doing a thing about it? Like, what am I missing here? So Jeff, I wanna be more automated. Well, what does that mean? Well, I don't know, Jeff, you help me. Okay, cool. So we can automate everything from processes and systems. Well, Jeff, what does that mean? Well, if you were to give your book of business to somebody else and you wanted them to do it the Teresa Pemberton way, Teresa would be asked to write out every single thing, like detailed all the way out. Okay, cool. Then she gives it to somebody else and any person who can read can do it the same exact way as Teresa Pemberton. Like that is the whole point of a process. Um, Automation, think the email campaigns that you have access to, whether it's through IQ or through any other CRM that you think is better than IQ for the record. It's not. Um, It's just really, really good stuff in there. We just got to unpack it. If you don't leverage the daily graphics from a social media standpoint, like try doing that first, right? So I don't have any, or, or the best one, I don't have anyone else to call. I've called my people. Well, when was the last time you talked to your people? Three months ago. I don't want to call them yet. Okay. All right, cool. So let's find more people to call. Well, what do we always say? Build the list, serve the list. So think about the type of consumer that is out there right now. You have a seller, you have a buyer, and you have investors. Okay, start coming up with ways. Give them a nugget every single time you call them, and you'll quickly get over to fear, the drunk monkey on your shoulder saying, do not call them because you're bugging them and you want to be liked. Oh, my goodness, you're the happiest person in the world. So, Or I want a geo farm. How about this? Geo farm, big, huge topic. How long have you been doing it? Oh, three months. How come I haven't seen a return on my investment? Well, NAR would tell us 18 to 24 pieces. I said pieces before you can expect an ROI. So if you only do the two a month or one a month, guys, 18, 24 months later, you can anticipate seeing an ROI or you can speed up the process. Front load some of your geo farm or better yet, in between mailers, call them, email them. Hey, I just wanted you to know, Teresa, this is Jeff Renner, called a banker. I know you keep seeing all of my fantastic postcards that my marketing team does because I don't have time to do that. But here's the thing. Another house down the street, the Johnsons just listed their home. I just wanted you to be aware. So taking them 
to the next level, doing something. Think of yourself for each subdivision or each area. You want to be the Google of that area. You want them to pick up the phone and say, Jeff, what is happening in my area today? So without action, the best intentions in the world are nothing more than that intentions. So the quickest way to momentum, guys, the quickest way to growth, to success is taking the first step towards action. You have a plan. It's on paper. We'll start there in one step at a time. But at the end of the day, do something. That's what I got for you, T.